الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقطة من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Harf jar? Summa mashallah. Harf jar? What does it mean? That there is a preposition there and the noun that will follow will be majroor. Will be majroor. Always remember, will be majroor. See, once you have this thing, then when you are writing, you will never make a mistake, inshallah. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, I, these pronouns that we are doing in sequence has a purpose. And you will see in book two, when we come to other things, it will make, make things very, very easy for you, inshallah. Okay? Hua, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna. Anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, ana, nahna, huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, ana, nahna. One more time. Huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum, Anti, antuma, antunna, ana, nahnu, mashallah. Now we come to our drill for conjugation in maadi. We will do a few times this, then we switch on to new verbs. But for some time, we want to do this, brothers and sisters. 
Okay, brothers and sisters, we'll do our drill for the verb. Okay, ready? Zahaba, Zahaba, Zahabu, Zahabat, Zahabata, Zahabna, Zahabta, Zahabtuma, Zahabtum, Zahabti, Zahabtuma, Zahabtunna, Zahabtu, Zahabna. See, did you observe? Uh, that we did it in the same sequence of pronouns. Those sequence of pronouns, huwa, huma, hum, we followed that same sequence. So it makes it very easy, inshallah. Okay? Huwa, zahaba. Huh? Ana, zahabtu. Ana, zahabtu. Anta, zahabta. Anti, hum, Zahabu. Nahnu. Zahabna. Antum. Zahabtum. Antunna. Zahabtunna. Hunna. Zahabna. Hiya. Zahabat. Hua. Zahaba. Hiya. Zahabat. Ana. Zahabtu. Anta. Anti. Nahnu. Zahabna. Keep that. Huh? The answer should come to you quickly, inshallah. Slowly, slowly. And every day you are not quick, don't worry. It's normal. Huh? We will practice, inshallah. Next one, brother. Kharaja, kharaja, kharaju, kharajat, kharajata, kharajna, kharajta, kharajtuma, kharajtum, kharajti, kharajtuma, kharajtunna. Kharashtu kharajna. Okay? Ana kharashtu. Huwa kharaja. Hum kharaju. Hiya kharajat. Hunna kharajna. Anta kharashta. Anti kharashti. Antum kharashtum. Nahnu kharajna. Mashallah. See, it's coming to you slowly, slowly, inshallah. And you understand also what you said. Kharajna, huh? we went. And you also know that there is a fiel and there is a file there. Huh? In the form of a damir. Huh? Huh? If I say kharajtu, tu is the file in the form of damir ana. Okay? And then all those damir which are coming as a file, they are... Marfu, huh? Marfu. It's not mustatir. When you say na, it's there. Only in zahaba and zahabat, there is a possibility the file can be hidden or file is in the sentence. Hmm? But of the rest of the verbs, the file is with the verb. Huh? It's there. Huh? But the file is always marfu. You know why am I insisting this? That way, later on, you will never ever miss out. Huh? Even in the Quran and anything else you read, inshallah. Okay. Next one, brother and sister. Jalasa. 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 Jalasu. Jalasat. Jalasata. Jalasna. Jalasta. Jalastuma. Jalastum. Jalasti. Jalastuma. Jalastunna. Jalastu. Jalasna. Ana. Jalastu. Anta. Jalasta, anti jalasti, huwa hiya jalasat, huwa jalasa, hiya jalasat, hum jalasu, hunna jalasna, antum jalastum, antunna jalastunna, nahnu jalasna. Mashallah, mashallah. Next one. Raja, 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 u. Rajaat, Rajaata, Rajana, Rajata, Rajatuma, Rajatum, Rajati, Rajatuma, Rajatunna, Rajatu, Rajana, Mashallah. Anta, Rajata, Anti, Rajati, Hua, Raja, Hum, Rajau, Hia, Rajaat. Ana Rajatu Nahnu Rajana Antum 
rajatun antunna rajatunna anti rajati anta rajata huwa hiya rajat ha okay now kataba okay ready kataba kataba katabu katabat katabata katabna katabta katabtuma katabtum katabti katabtuma katabtunna katabtu katabna mashallah huwa kataba kataba ha huwa kataba hum katabu ha hunna katabna ana katabtu anta katabta anti katabti nahnu katabna antum katabtum antunna katabtunna huwa kataba hiya katabat hum katabu hunna katabna mashaallah mashaallah brother after this thing settles down in your mind and you know the sequence and you know the pronoun i can assure you that if i write any verb which is not nakis which is uh, you know doesn't have vowel and ya you will be able to do it you know inshallah you will be able to do any verb huh? inshallah the only thing that i am adding apart from dr abdul rahim's uh, you know method is that i am adding huma and antuma because i feel if we do in sequence it becomes very easy huh? and uh, and you can see the blue book that we gave you everything is in sequence remember that blue grammar book that we gave you yes. huh? you saw everything is in that sequence if you remember okay brother and sister so having done this now we come to <coughs> our other thing and which is mudaf mudafilihi are you all comfortable with mudaf mudafilihi you all understand you don't understand mudaf mudafilihi sister naima be frank we will try try it again huh? i will again let you know mudaf mudafilihi but mudaf mudafilihi is the possessive case huh? in english we we use of and the possessive s you know to get the meaning of that the book of muhammad we use of between book and muhammad huh? house of the teacher we use between house and and teacher of are you with me or we will say muhammad's book we added s huh? how do we do in arabic we have no such thing here no of and no possessive s in arabic so you take two nouns which have a relationship huh? possessor and the thing possessed in the simplest way we can say that and how do we combine them mother here is kitab bun huh? and here is muhammadun and here is kalamun and here is al mudarrisu huh? do you see here tanwin tanwin huh? and here this is definite noun okay this is definite noun brother do you see one dama definite all is there and this is definite because it is a proper noun how do i say book of muhammad how do i say ha huh? kitabu muhammadin ha huh? so we say kitabu muhammadin okay book of muhammad of brother is understood what makes me understand that that i see the two nouns and then one noun i see majroor are you with me is this majroor ha huh? okay 
And this noun, I do not see tanwin. I do not see tanwin. Okay? So, it gives me the understanding that this is a possessive case in which the noun which is majroor is the owner and the noun before it is the thing possessed, thing owned. Huh? Now you are quite familiar with many things, brother. And even if, if I don't write anything, now you will have to tell me the proper vowel signs. Huh? What did I write, brother? Baitullahi. See, now you know it is Baitullahi. What is the meaning of it? House of Allah. See, you used of. Or you will say Allah's house. But let us try and use of as much as we can. It will give us a better understanding. Now, you see, I did not write anything. Still, you said it is Baitullahi. Huh? Now, Allahi is the possessor. Are you with me? What do we call this noun? Mudaf ilahi. Huh? We call this noun Mudaf ilahi. And what do we call this noun? Mudaf. Here also it is mudafun ilayhi. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now, because we have already done it in the past, and I'm just revising it for you to refresh yourself. Mudafun ilayhi. If I say, uh, I write here, brother, without vowel sign. Kitabullahi. Uh, what is it? You immediately came with Kitabullah. Okay. Now I say Fi. What will happen now? Uh, what will happen now, brothers and sisters? Fi Baitillah. Uh, if I write here Min, Min Kitabillah. You know why? Harf jar isam majroor. Makes it isam majroor. Okay. So min kitabil lahi. Now, now we have here two murakkabs, two compounds. What is our first compound, brother? Jarun wa majroorun. And what is your second compound, brother? Mudafun wa mudafilihi. Are you with me, brother and sisters? This is your second compound. In order to understand and say properly in grammatical analysis, min, I will say harf char, kitabi, I will say ism majroor. So that is one compound. Now let us do the second compound. Then this kitabi, which is ism majroor, is also mudaf. And then this is mudaf ilahi. Two compounds. Do you see? Again, I say here, fi bayti is your one compound. And what is that one compound? Jarun wa majroor. Harf jar is a majroor. Now comes the second compound, murakkab. And what is that murakkab? Baytillahi. Baytillahi. Are you with me? So, here it is. Okay? And sometimes, sometimes, brothers and sisters, it will have uh, the chain of mudaf, mudaf, ilahi can be very long. Huh? Can be very long. Now I write here. Huh? What is it? Masjidur. Rasuli. Uh, how will you say? Masjidah, the Prophet. Uh, and then I say, Masjidu Rasulillahi. 
Okay, now I did not put any harshar. Huh? Tell me, brother and sister, what is masjidu? Mudaf. What is rasuli? Mudafilehi. Then again, second chain starts. Huh? This is, uh, let me circle it. This is, this is one compound. And then this is second compound. So in, it means that Rasuli in the first compound became Mudafilehi. And in the second compound, it became Mudaf. Huh? Are you see? So I say it is playing a double role. Huh? And it, there will be times when the noun will be, we will have, has a, two roles to play. Masjidu mudaf, Rasuli mudafilehi, wa huwa mudaf, and then mudafilehi. Huh? Now, I say, huh? what will happen now? Fi masjidi rasulil lahi. So this fi, brother and sister, will have its effect only on one noun. Not on the whole sentence. Only on one noun. And what is that noun? Immediately after harfchar. Are you with me, brother and sisters? So it became fi harfchar. Masjidi ism majrur. Pada Abdul Samad. Wa huwa mudaf. And then Rasuli mudafilehi. Wa huwa mudaf. And then mudafilehi. Are you with me? Are you comfortable now? Now I'm going to write a funny sentence. Yes, brothers and sisters. Most of the time, mudafilehi should be definite. In this case, Rasul Majjidir. Okay, here is another nice question by Brother Abdul Samad. <clears throat> Let us discuss this. Okay, let us go back again. Mudaf ilahi, you know, can be definite and can be indefinite. Okay, when you say Kitabu Muhammadin, then it is definite. Are you with me? What is definite? Muhammad is definite. Now please listen to me carefully. I'm saying something extremely important. If the mudaf ilahi is definite, if the mudaf ilahi is definite, then automatically mudaf is definite. Even though we did not put al. We cannot put al or tanween to the mudaf. Huh? Can never put um, Brother Abdul Samad, Mudaf cannot have Al and cannot have Tanveen. Would you like to write it down or shall I write it down? If the Mudaf Ilahi is definite, then brothers and sisters, Mudaf is automatically definite. Now, brothers and sisters, what happens if the Mudaf Ilahi is an indefinite? Then it becomes automatically. What is the example of, of Mudaf Ilahi indefinite? Brother, I will write down. Huh? Kitabu Talibin. See, Talibin indefinite. Are you with me? How will you translate? A book of a student. Both are indefinite. Huh? Why? Because if the mudaf ilahi is indefinite, then the mudaf is also indefinite. But if the mudaf is definite, then the mudaf ilahi becomes automatically definite. 
even though there is no al even though there is no al okay because of course it cannot have tanmeen okay now look at brothers and sisters i write down here a sentence kitabu muhammadin became kitabu muhammadin and kalamun al mudarrisu will become kalamul mudarri si kala mu al mudarri si okay now tell me al mudarri si is mudafilahi is it definite indefinite it is definite then what will happen to kalamu it is definite it is definite huh? but but there are many teachers okay and one of the teacher left a pen and we don't know to whom it belongs so we can say kalamu mudar ri sin now tell me that is mudar sin definite indefinite indefinite so what will happen to kalam it is indefinite uh, we don't know which teacher any teacher got the idea but when you say kalamul mudarrisi then you know which teacher you are talking about got the idea inshallah uh, is it clear inshallah okay uh, so okay uh, having said that brother i just uh, want to write down a, a sentence uh, yeah Well, how, what kind of proposition do you want to put? Belongs to the uh, Then, then the, you will change the sentence. Al kalamu lil mudaris. How will you say? Al kalamu, the pen. Now we want to you see once once the pen is on its own, then it became al kalamu, because it is a particular pen you are talking about. Al kalamu lil mudaris. Let me write down. Huh? Al-Kalamu huh? Lil-Mudarri Si Got the idea? Huh? We have a different structure there There we have different structure the... No, there is no Mudaf Mudafili Now this is our Mubtada And this is Jar Majroor huh? Shibu Jumla Khabar The pen belongs to the teacher this will be uh, okay now I just <clears throat> I, I always give you this sentence plus brothers there are many sentences in the your handout and I would like you to look to those sentence of mudaf mudaf uh, while I'm writing this brother Muhammad can you see in the handout what page it is brother 1415, huh? I come to one more question before I f go further. Brother Abdul Samad, you said, if, if you had only Masjidu Rasuli, that construction is incorrect. Masjidu Rasuli is not correct. You will have to say Masjidur Rasuli. Are you with me? What will you say? Masjidur Rasul, yeah? because if that is your mudaf mudaf ilahi, then we are talking about that particular masjid of the Rasul. You will say Masjidur Rasuli. As soon as you brought Allah uh, and the Rasul is going to become mudaf, we cannot have Al. I cannot say Masjidur Rasulillahi. It has to be Masjidu Rasulillahi. Why? If I were to write down only this one, this much, brother, mas jidu ra suli. What is this, brother? Mudah mudafili. Now I want to say masjid of the Prophet of Allah. So I add Allah here at the end. Huh? Is it correct? No, it is not correct. Because see. If you say Masjid Dur Rasuli, it is correct. But as soon as you want to make this into 
mudaf, then it cannot have al. Are you with me? It cannot have al. Now you will say, masjidu rasulillahi. Do you follow why? No al? Because it is becoming a mudaf from here. Okay, but a mudaf can also be a majroo? Yeah, yeah, if it is in the chain. Okay. So huh? mudaf is never definite. Mudaf, mudaf uh, cannot have al. It, is, it will be definite by its situation. Huh? She's asking, Munaf cannot be definite. I say, Mudaf is definite by its situation. See, here is Kitabu. Is it definite, indefinite? You will look to the Mudaf ilahi. If the Mudaf ilahi is definite, then the Mudaf is definite. Do you see? What is the sign of definite? Al. Do you see Al here? You don't see. But then the question is, is it definite or not? Where will you go to check? Okay. Now here, Kitabu Talibin. Is Kitabu definite? I don't know. Nothing is given here. But I, when I look here, then it tells me that this is indefinite. Huh? Because the Mudaf Ilahi is indefinite, this became indefinite. Now look at this, brother and sister. Again, I want you to draw your attention. Masjidu. Rasuli, Lahi. Are you with me? Masjid doesn't have Al. Rasul doesn't have Al. But the last Mudaf Ilahi has Al. Because that Mudaf Ilahi will, is not going to become Mudaf again. So you at the end, you have the final definite noun. Shall I repeat again? Masjid doesn't have Al. Rasul doesn't have Al. But the Allah has Al. Why Allah has Al? Because that is the end of our chain. Nothing going further. If there was something further, then even that noun will also be without Al. Are you with me? So, because this is definite, Sister Abhi, this is definite. And because this is definite, the, are we doing algebra here? Yes. <laughs> See, it's like mathematics. Huh? Okay, now I give you a sentence. Huh? And, and page number, did you say 14, 15? 14, 15? You know, there are many beautiful examples of mudaf, mudafili. And you should do it. Uh, try to analyze them. Huh? In a simple way, you know, mudaf, mudafili, mudaf, mudafili. It will give you extra understanding and practice. Brother, babu... What did I write, brother? Babu Baiti Ibn Khadimi Mudarisi Maksurun. Okay. What is Babu? I know that. But have the son? Mubtada, mashallah, zindabad. May Allah bless you. May increase you now. Mubtada, huh? And then it is Mudaf. Where is Mudaf Ilahi? Are you with me, Sister Ambi? Mudaf Ilahi is Baiti. Then there is something going on. So then it is again Mudaf. And where is Ibni? Mudaf Ilahi. Again there is something going on. It is Mudaf. And then Khadimi? Mudaf Ilahi. Again something is going on. Then the Khadimi is Mudaf. And Al Mudarisi, Mudaf. Now Al Mudarisi came at the end. There is no further chain of mudafili. Last of it became definite. If this is definite, is this definite? Yes. If this is definite, is this definite? Yes. Is this definite? Yes. And then is this definite, Babu? Yes. Everything is definite. Because you see the final mudaf ilahi being definite. Okay. Further? Okay. Now you tell me where is the khabar? Maksur. So what is the actual sentence, brother? Al Babu Maksur. Huh? What is the actual sentence? Al Babu Maksur. Darwaza tuta hai isku samjani ke liye itana jagada kar diya. Son, 
Now you try to do translation in English using of. The door of the house of the son of the servant of the teacher is broken. Now this is just a you know example we we won't come across this kind of uh, sentences. Again say the translation brother. The door of the house of the son of the servant of the teacher is broken. Are you with me brothers and sisters? Hmm? Now this is just an example. But we will have lots of examples coming. So inshallah you will, you will be able to master it. Brother, the, the thing is that this mudaf mudafile concept, one has to do a lot of reading in the book and write. And write so that this concept is fresh in your mind all the time. Okay. So we end it here inshallah. Huh? And you will see page 14, 15, 16 in the handout. Practice. Huh? Okay, now we go, brother. <coughs> we go to pronouns. You know, we were doing mudaf mudafilehi. Okay. Huh? So, kitabu muhammadin. Baitu muhammadin. Kalamu muhammadin. Now, if I say his house or house of his, his pain. How do I say, brother? I say, Baituhu, Kalamuhu. Are you with me? So what is happening now? That when the Damir joins a noun, we get Mudaf, Mudaf ilahi. Are you with me, brother? Same way, Min Muhammadin. Are you with me? Min Muhammadin. Okay? From Muhammad. But we can change Muhammad into pronoun. And what we say? Minhu. Are you with me? What is Minhu? Jarun or Majroon. And you can use 14 pronouns huh? in this way. Are you with me, brother? The same way we have Enda. Enda al Mudiri. With the headmaster. But I can change Al Mudir into who? What will I say? Indahu. What is Indahu? Zarf and Mudafili. So here is the rule, brothers and sisters. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get Mudaf Mudafili. And when the pronoun joins a preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun. And when the pronoun joins zarf, what do we get? Zarf and mudafile. So here is a little song, brothers and sisters. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudafilehi. What did I say? When the pronoun Joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudafilehi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun, wa majrurun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, what do we get? We get zarf and mudafilehi. Did you get it? Inshallah. One more time. When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudafilehi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun, wa majrurun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, we get zarf and mudafilehi. Inshallah, you remember. Huh? You don't mind my, you know, I want to give you a pill, but I want to give you a sugar-coated pill. <laughs> okay? So, 
When the pronoun joins a noun, what is the result? Whether you don't even have to write it, you should. You just have to. It will come to you, inshallah. Are you? When the pronoun joins a noun, we get mudaf, mudafilehi. Got it? Now, so we know our pronouns. Huh? And if I write down here, Kitabu, huh? maybe I can even write down Al Kitabu, and then now I am joining it with pronoun. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So his book or book of his. How will you say? Kitabuhu. And now we know our fourteen <coughs> pronouns, so we can quickly say them. Huh? Kitabuhu, Kitabuhuma, Kitabuhum, Kitabuha, Kitabuhuma, Kitabuhum, Kitabuka, Kitabukuma, Kitabukum, Kitabuki, Kitabukuma, Kitabukunna, Kitabi, Kitabuna. Everybody must participate. But the more you will say, uh, the understanding will become stronger and you will be able to Think quickly. Are you with me? Yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> now, if I say, Fi kitabi he, I won't say Fi kitabi who. Uh, no, who became he? Why? Fi kitabi he. Uh, see, here is your. First, Jaruma Majru. And then, what is our next compound? Huh? Huh? Okay. Fi Harchar, Kitabi Isam Majru, Wahua Mudaf, and He Mudafile. But try to say Fi Kitabi Hu. Say everybody Fi Kitabi Hu. How do you, how, how do you, it doesn't sound good. Huh? You have to use so many muscles of your mouth to say, Fi kitabi hu. Huh? So who became he? Not for any grammar reason, but just for phonetic reasons. Brother, are you with me? So you will be able to conjugate that also. Fi kitabi hima. Fi kitabi him. Fi kitabi ha. Fi kitabi hima. Fi kitabi hinna. Huh? Those five pronouns. In the third person, huwa, huma, hum, huma, hunna, they will have a kasra. Huh? If there is a kasra before them, huh? or if there is a ya before them, with a sukun, fine. Are you with me, brother? And then, fi kitabi ka, fi kitabi kuma, fi kitabi kum, fi kitabi ki, fi kitabi kuma, fi kitabi kunna fi kitabi and then fi kita bina fi kita bina huh? bina okay now brothers and sisters same thing will happen huh? even we say because this comes all the time in the Quran huh? What is what will you say now? Rabbuhu, Rabbuhuma, Rabbuhum, Rabbuha, Rabbuhuma, Rabbuhunna, Rabbuka, Rabbukuma, Rabbukum, Rabbuki, Rabbukuma, Rabbukunna, Rabbi, and then Rabbuna. And we say all the time in the Quran. Now let us use min. Min Rabbihi, Min Rabbihima, Min Rabbihim, Min Rabbiha, Min Rabbihima, Min Rabbihinna, Min Rabbika, Min Rabbikuma, Min Rabbikum, Min Rabbiki, Min Rabbikuma, Min 
ربی کننا من ربی من ربینا so see it's very easy logical and fascinating I, I found this whole thing very beautiful and fascinating right? okay so we have an idea huh? now if the pronoun joins preposition what is the result charun majrur are you with me if the pronoun joins preposition it becomes jarun wa majrurun so here are i am writing brothers and sisters how many there are on page number i think no i think 17 there there are, these are the half jars given brother min i think uh, ala i am not writing in order ila and then we have fi uh, and then we have b uh, and then we have an uh, uh, min ala ila fi b an uh, li very important li is there any more that's it uh? ma is zarf uh, we are going to do ma separately huh? we have ma and we are practicing in the uh, mother 